default boom bot up towards hooker there and wave look well equipped to deal with that. actually tribune oh gonna oh, get perfect oh, on. timing on mo's drone have we have we got aggression in towards showers on a defending side oh baby this is gonna be fantastic i love it now the plant comes in in response but look at those post plants they're gonna be smothered they're gonna be surrounded that is the exact thing i want to be seeing make those yeah. post plants tricky because whether you've got a viper when you've got a sky they're gonna have all that information and you know there's gonna be utility lobbed down they do get it to halfway that's imperative and actually they're gonna stick to the fuse straight through the smoke they go and it's done for wave oh. Wave! Are you kidding me? Enemy I like this normally, unless you have something up your sleeve, and why not try something a bit different? Isolate a couple of players, get a gun away or two, try and make them reinvest if you can. And they're actually going to get... I think that was a weapon swap up there to give mm -hmm. a Vando up to that upper angle. So he's going to hold this... This Domer actually boosted up. I hold this angle all the way down to the defensive spawn, but again, aim of the game here for Wave, it's economy damage. It's it's to remove some of these weapons, which is why we saw the stack, as you said. You, you're not really going to be able to take these 1v1s. They just swarm Jack over by Shower. That's actually Murray catching a sound cue on Boaster there, so he's got to be careful when he comes back out of Hooker. Mystics missed the timing on it as well. There you go. Yeah, Boaster will fall. Once again, just going to play the exits a little further here, whether or not they get another one. Doma seems like he's cleaning up now with a couple of headshots. They will TP away. Oh, they've gone three. Yeah. Smacked a little bit more for this information on B, which actually, you can see, yeah, the sky oh, flash Doma. comes down. Doma. They'll find two Jack for the third as well. So they get themselves free access. There's all three members down on B. I still like the investment of utility as well coming to potentially. He's just going to clear out as he goes, but they are somewhat safe. This is this is what I like to see is, is a very much a thinking man's game. But then this is why we always talk about firepower beside it. Even with the right reads, which Wave I think have right now, sticking the landing still going to be tricky because you have someone like Doma there. You've got so many big... Zig's in a bit of trouble. He's now going to see people coming his way, but good utility usage. Could at least cut this attack in half, but they still need to land the shots and Jack's having none of it. Nico's there on response, but you're going to have Doma already push further forward. They need to help out the rest of the players, though, because they're still getting kind of chewed up over by Long. Quick flash in, but he catches most of it. Seekers go down. Jet. Oh, Carcass could have done something, but no, Doma bails them out. Quick trades come in, but it's Boaster to find the last kill towards the site in all of that mayhem. We have to see. Still... There you go. That's going to give the audio cue across now. Nico, I want to see him wait this out. Or just find that kill instantly. His teammate still rot rotating through defensive spawn now. Last player, Chak, is down to 30 HP. So that information is going to go across. I want to see him stack up and just sweep through here. Get this trade. Make sure oh, that there's no, no possibility of Chak clutching this out. Now he's got himself to 1v1 and he clutches it out. The third on the round will find both headshots. And honestly, you kind of need a very mobile op, I feel, is something. At least, you know, in my experience. I'll come back to that in a, in a second. Um, as we do see the side hit coming in. Both players now stuck towards the U-Haul and towards every part of this. you got... Oh, God, Doma, you are quick to move. But both players just got cleared out in the meantime. That ultimate invested forced them again into the sights of the opponents. And Waver having no luck. I do not think their theory is wrong, but they are not beating these players pound for pound. And Doma's just flexing on them now. This is on one kill at this point as well. It's... It's rough. I'll make some plays. Yep. I mean, I'm not saying it's easy to do it. I'm just saying it's 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 going to be a kind of element as to what's going to be hindering you if you can't quite get into form yet. You can already see this play. I like this. Again, I think Wave have some really nice looks to them. And I really don't want this to be disparaging to them in the long run, sitting at a scoreline like this, because I think the way they approach the game is correct. I think they have a very good mentality on the game. Murray will be oh, locked no. out of this again. Oh, dear. I don't know if he could have tucked into one of those corners there. Honestly, I think he was dead. Dead to right. And even, like, looking at this in my mind, again, while this kind of eco round plays out, unless, obviously, uh, Wave do something more interesting with it, the fact they're willing to invest their kind of ultimates in rounds like this just to clear out corners, I think it's a really good kind of approach. But it is a 3v3, so it's not over yet. But we're on the wrong side of the map. And Dome is quite a way away. If they can find this 2v1 on site, obviously the Viper's Pit is down. Yeah, you're going to see actually a little bit of spam onto the spike as well. Mystic should find both of these. They've both walked oh. into it. There you go. He spots the barrel. Finds Nico first of all. Actually doesn't Great. expect Tribune over there, so... Brings it down to 1v1. Should be still on 1 HP though because of the tech K. He's got to wait for it to tick back up. Yeah, there you go. Doma knows exactly where he is now. Well played. <laughs> Honestly, good round though. Uh, at least in this matchup so far. 
beyond that. Send, yeah, I was going to say, they, they need to convert some of this B-long aggression here. They are going to come back and pick up the heal. Which Dunmer is going to heal. He actually drops out of hooker here. Murray will get the better of him. That 1v1, but... Look at this. Here come the reinforcements now. Arcus tucked outside the TP. Nico, I think, just spotted there. And I yeah, might see them try and convert this one. <laughs> Look at that. The flash and the swing. Don't mind that at all. What? Oh, the double. Oh, they dashed into the dashed lineup. into it. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. But I love it. I love it from Wave, though. Me. I've made my mistakes. Do you? I like what Muri's doing. He's got three kills, but that's about it for me. I don't love everything else about this. But you know what? Let's see what Chat can do. Are you a believer? I'm really glad to see these more kind of, oh, yeah. you know, Phoenix-esque, but reactive plays with a more well-rounded sort of, you know, kit beside them. For now, Wave's actually holding the hit for once. Doma this time's dead. Now Mo wants to get in, but no. Tribune holds the line, and suddenly Fnatic are having problems. This isn't looking so likely, but there we go. Chak's on the case now, pushing in towards showers. The second even comes through, but Mori's positioning is... Can't give some time for the rotation to come through. There's no rotation, actually. So Fnatic are holding the Luka. line. Where's Raze? Show us Raze. Oh, Doma got Nico, but no more to be found. A quick trade for Tribune here. Jack now going to be trying to keep the attention away to allow the swing to come in from the site. But both get dealt with. That's a problem. Mo was the player on the site itself, and he was trying to be almost baited in just so he could step out as the attention was drawn. But now with the spike planted, the two players from Fnatic are in a little bit of a tricky spot. Not going to check your angles. You're going to get punished. Not necessarily a 50-50, but the deeper corner is tough to peek around. And Boast are now left with it all to do. Already baited by it's one. Oh, yeah. This is not a pleasant scenario. I guess Jet's HP is low, but they know to two are here. So he needs to dismantle this at least potential crossfire in front of him. Checks the first angle. Correct. Oh, oh again, no. they fall for it. Check your corners with full intent. Very quickly Ooh, traded out. Heard. Here we go. Mystic on the other side, quickly overwhelmed. Wave just want to just nail it right now. Keep that pressure mounting by Mo. Off into the site. Here we are. Wave now securing as they go. Like that hit. All encompassing, not messing around, but there's still a threat here. Foster was lingering nice, in the smoke, nice. but kept in check by Zeke. This is this is quite good. This is decent so far. Again, not really paying too. Ooh, nice little flick from Dome there, but <laughs> I mean, wave just away. But they're getting a lot of attention, and now there's four players on the B site though. Because yeah, it just leaves one. A fanatic over back towards A. The flash comes through. Actually going to try and force the issue here. Boaster going to find two kills to stop this push. The orbital strike invested as well. Tribune's got to get out of there, but he's forced into the open. Boaster will find a third. Doma will find Tribune. And there you go. Boaster with a 4k here. Really, really. Looked like that was right on. Yeah. Hey, plan going to come in. Anything to stop it? No, plant now down is post plant time. 5v5 post plants are brutal. We do have some ultimates online, and Doma and all the boys playing back through CT are going to be having a rough time, but it's Boaster cracking this open. First avenue available. Now the crossfire is not looking so strong. You can see the problems. Murray's so vulnerable once that player got picked up. Oh, and actually, the orbital strike is perfect. It's going to force him all the way back into garden. Look at that. Into the waiting arms of Mo. Boaster once again picks up. So many kills on the retake here. Tribune will get a constellation. <laughs> How many times has Boaster flanked back through Hooker on the retake? That's it's just... This is the grander look at Europe, right? This is the excitement that we were waiting for us to see what else is out there. We've had the boring invite tournaments. We've had the boring streamer tournaments. Now we get the actual talented players. Nico, though. Savvy, just head first. Head first for Halos right now. Already dead. Pops the old Mystic's going to have a whale of a time if they just keep walking forward. One, two. No make it way. Go on off. He did get three, I guess, overall, but it was kind of nice if he was in, you know, succession. Seekers are out, so again, it's a horrible give, noise. Yeah, going to give the information over. Actually, Zeke going to catch the stun as well. Tribune location is revealed, so just a matter of time. Keep your eye on the mini map. Got a man flanking back towards shore, and it's none other than Boaster once again. Ooh. That was, that was a little, little spice to it. A little seasoning on top of that bad boy, but it is the 1v2. He's been... <laughs> trickle Molly, how disrespectful. Just dribbles to the feet. Now, Tribune, what are you going to do? you got 33 seconds. No one's directly fighting you from where they were before. Look at all these annoying rotations. This guy's even back into B just in case. No. 
And Boast is going to come around showers. So Tribune's got the option. Do I walk where Boaster was? He seems paranoid, but not too away. He's got his ultimate. Let's see if they find him. Sky on the hunt. Going to force out Boaster. Not bad. That's a really good shout from Tribune. Well considered. Oh, no. But he loses to Big Daddy Jack. And that's He's, uh pushes out, especially on these rounds where minimal investment. They've got to do something to try and make it work, right? Fortunately, Fnatic, free access in and Shaq is set up to greet them. Oh, potentially going to look for a play with the paranoia. And again, it's how many players they're expecting to see here holding on. But again, the setup for Fnatic, they're going to deal with this so easily. Okay. Stick there. Boaster. Just playing aimbots. Nice little target practice. He's pop mo. Look at um, Murray. This crossfire this could be deadly. It's filthy. Oh. It's absolutely... Oh my god, and so is his aim. Three big kills in quick succession. Say goodbye, Fnatic. Yes, they've finally broken through, but rotations might just beat them there if Tribune just kind of instantly hooned it. But having a little look around. Timing could be right, but they're very aware of where they could be vulnerable. The Tribune going to try and deny the default plant with the molly there. Actually going to do a lot of damage to Mystic and force him out, but no peak coming through because of that nano swarm. Mystic going to give the spike up and hold for his teammate. Now, Paranoia actually going to slow down this push a little bit. Mystic may be considering pushing through to the defensive spawn. He will. Nico will fall. Actually, wave picking up both kills there. I thought maybe Mystic was going to be able to convert that second as well after the Paranoia. Again, I'd love to see a team get aggressive in the post plant for the retake here. So, Fnatic, if they read the situation well enough... So they do have the counter lockdown. Should they choose to use it, you can see actually they're making their way down to sewers. There you go. Counter lockdown comes through. The pressure goes back onto Wave now to make use of this ultimate. Oh, coupled with all the utility that's left over, Zix there, but he's going to have to make this move fast. Oh my god, no well. way. Okay, hold on. You got on. it. Did oh my. Okay, we, we are right back into this now then. So Wave going to have to try and flood back through this. Fnatic still on the go as well. Boaster. Bit of work towards Zika now on the spike. We go, wait, Nico's holding this. Let's have a look at Nico, see what he's doing here. Is there any way to stop this one? I don't know if there is. Oh, great work from Boaster. Just knocks him up and off. And Mo just being the tip wow. of the over here. And Brim, I believe. So you're going to actually have a nice little new look to this. There's a swing. Could do with more. They're all setting him up for this carcass. Just going to go. Nice. Ooh, that was bold. Now knows there's more there. He could get some backup. Brim's still behind him. He didn't go too far away. Now Omen's going to be put to task. Deal with this. Let's look at Raze over towards C. See what they can do. Because that's going to be the spike coming up. I wonder what Raze is doing on that C site. Because maybe they could stop that. They got one. And there it is. Yeah. Spike now down. Bit of a trade out, but it buys time. This is now going to allow time for the rest of the side to work. Maybe back through garage. Try and get towards a better position to potentially punish. And Boaster's in a bit of a tricky spot. You can get the spike, sure, but a plant's probably out of question. So how now can they work in that play with Omen off the back? There you go. You can see the intention instantly. Actually going to invest the Seekers into this it? round as well. No follow-up just yet. There was a Sky Flash that came out. Now, that's the information comes through. Mystic going to find one and two down into Connector. Can he find the third? Oh, my God. A little bit of a whiff from Nico there, but it was only a frenzy. Attic now on a kind of scouting mission. You've got Chak here kind of playing towards middle. There is a player just in that Connector to the left side. Actually, a crossfire still in play. Jack's going to be shot in the back of the head soon. If he's not careful. Swings on it correctly, though, but couldn't adjust in time. And now you've got Wave. Great crossfire held towards B. No flanks to be had here. Yeah, Boaster and Doma do manage to slip their way onto A site, though. And Doma will actually find Tribune over at A-Link. So Doma now will have the Showstopper online. Defensive lockdown invested Doma. Oh, we missed the double satchel. He's going to try and destroy the lockdown, though. He actually goes for the kill instead. Carcass will find it. Boaster has to aggress now. Clock ticking down. Wave will hold the line and find that final kill. Doma, he's so unlucky to miss that second satchel. If he'd have gone flying out, they potentially would have got a kill and destroyed the lockdown for Boaster. Yeah, they're going to re-aggress onto mid once again. Look at that. Murray going to find two kills straight off the bat and the third. Again, I love the aggression. And yes, finding value is obviously what they're going for. But I mean, if they can consistently doing it, they're doing it much better this time around than they were on bind. Murray got to fall back now. Maybe pick up a heal from Sky. Doma. I think it was Doma that actually found that kill onto... Oh my God, look at Boaster. He is spotted out. 
sends the fault line through to stop that push coming onto him. But whether or not Doma can get in and do much from it, nope. Murray will find his fourth Zeke. We still have that sky towards C Long, and they've been posted up there a lot of times. But considering they're seeing nothing up C Long, I feel as though they're still reading this as being potentially that hit towards A. And Murray had the angle, waited so long for it, and now there's the rest of the crunch. The flank comes through another angle instead. You see Boaster on the way around, and this is a lovely play. That straight B hit did not work out, oh, no. but actually there's a problem. The spike carry's been killed. No time. There's no time for the plant. They'd have to hunt out the players. You can see the frustration, and this is the threatened death. But his control over A long. Actually, Murray have a little bit of information over that one way. Showstopper doesn't connect fully. There's not enough damage he's done. Trouble. Yeah, now he's just going to get flushed out with utility. And Murray actually gets tagged by the recon. So they are going to have the information. There's another player here. Actually, rotation comes through pretty early. And lockdown invested by Fnatic is going to force them away. Keep your eye on the minimap, though. Look who's making their way through Garage. Wave have got to be quick to get some kills on site if they want to capitalize on this. But look at it. The trades Trades. come through. Mo finds two in response. Nico now 1v2 on site. But again, minimap. Look at him. He's there lurking in the shadows, ready to pounce if Nico finds this kill. Okay, nice work. Another one on the site and one on the flank. Oh, we heard the he paranoia. He gave it away. Gun barrels. Go oh my god, Nico oh. just shot a second too early. And there's the punishment from Jack. That could have been... Well, one more could be thrown out for the opposition if they walk into this crossfire. Boaster, though. Here comes the crossfire. It's only going to be one more. Wait, Murray, Murray got again. both. Murray just got both of those kills. We didn't see it, but god damn, I bet that was sick. And now Tribune's found one as well. Jack at the back of the side waiting for the push. Murray again. That's three this round. The guy is doing some heavy lifting here. Emo stuck all the way down towards the bottom along and wow, just defending heavy. Oh my God, look at this pace once again. Yeah, but look at the stack towards Sura as well. They have to clear this out clearly in the oh, <laughs> That utility was so damn good. Flashed up, no idea what's happening. Yeah, checks in the back of the site, but a quick one. They're not going to mess around. Again, look at this. It's, it's the five man stack from Wave and they want to continue this pace. Oh my god, Murray finds the entry. Mystic, that was the man with the weapon as well. The one player on backside is going to get spotted out by the boom bot. And actually, Chak finds a kill. How did that just happen? But Tribune will trade it back. As soon as the boom bot's drifting across site there, they would have been able to find that kill for free. But Chak makes him pay for a little bit of complacency. Boaster gets spotted out by Tommy. He's going to fall back into garage. Spike will go down. Spike now planted. Boast has been spotted already. Called towards Zik. That's easy. That's a clean pickup. And last two players. You've got a play coming up towards C Long as well. No one's really visible yet. And then you've got Sova right towards the back of Garage being watched out by the Killjoy. So Killjoy should probably have that kill on Sova, depending. But Doma's going to try and make the play forward. Nice work to a Tribune. No follow up though. And there it is. Comfy. Down. They're all the way through A lobby already. Um, uh, Fnatic back on the attack. What's going on? Mo's got the one for one trade out. That's going to take down Murray, who's at least the danger man right now. But everyone else picks up the slack. Oh, Sick no. now watching the back. They know what's coming. Wave are playing a better game here. Fnatic looking a little lost. And this is looking like Eleven's going to be on the board unless Chak does something incredible. And I mean, maybe? But Boaster's been noted. Chak's found Carcass. But here's the trade. Does it come in? That's great what? work from Boaster. They line up a fumble at the worst time. And now the turret. And now the lock doesn't reach the spike. Invested and wait, no, it, it's just on the verge. No, it doesn't. This is a problem. I don't know if they've realized, but they will now. The fumble what? from Wave. What? <laughs> Looking a little pretty weirded out by winning that, but they're going to keep right back at it. Go they're just going aggressive. Mo's going to find one, and now they can keep pouring forward. They just Mo. want to take fights on the Mo's found another. How has he done that? That's Nico now dead, and Carcass left probably wondering, well, what, what am I meant to do here? I'm all alone now. The rest of my tier over my garage. Help me out here, boys. There's no help to come in. Fnatic just picking up the pace, it looks like. As Wave were running away with this, Murray's just going to power through towards C. They could get a spike plant. But then they need to win a 2v5 with three ults available to them. Post plant ultimates for Wave are pretty good though, but it's 2v5. It's a tall order. They have the orbital strike. They have the showstopper. Actually, don't have the showstopper because Doma will find a headshot through the smoke there. 
The Tribune now in a 1v5. Going to find the first, but the trade is good. and ju- Better. I mean, my mind just, you know, gets flashbacks to CZs and CS. But what I am seeing is aggression down middle again. These guys are unrelenting. Fanatic are trying to send a message, okay. but that message is going to get lost in translation. The sheriff on the other side so easily to handle these players out of place, but the paint shell, careful now. And Mo is dying to get into this. And there's not much space gained yet. This is still so much re-clear having to come through. There are more players, of course, no, the spawned. attacking side. Exactly. <laughs> they are nowhere out of spawn yet. Slow down a bit. Actually, Seeker's thrown out here. Are the guns recovered? I actually don't know. I don't think they have. No, they haven't gone all the way up mid. Doma was positioned, I think, to stop that. Chat going to get a little bit company up here in garage. Uri now, showstopper. This could be deadly. If he It'd finds a kill off here, and he will. Oh my, oh. what? Look at Jack's HP. Look at it. <laughs> How? I don't understand. But now Spike is planted, but uh, looking for the guns. I want to see if they're still in middle, if they got recovered or not. The Sova walking down right now. Mo is probably checking on this too to know what they're in for. Now Mori's going to hold the doors on the pushback in. Bit of a bait shot to try and turn attention towards the window. They need they to wait for this to be cleared. Sick bait there. Just those shots turned the attention for just a second. And now we go back in already. The site retake comes in. Chat's going to invest into this one. Say, hey, why not? They got ultimates they the online. Orbital. They kind of have to. And now they see the players down towards the end. They're both stacked up there. Oh, this is going to be deadly. He's dead to this. But now time is a factor. Jack and Mo in combination. But timing is everything now. They need to stick on the diffuse. It didn't get it. to halfway. This is close as anything. I think this is done for. This could be really bad for Fnatic. It could be, but let's see what Doma can do. Spots out one. They know it's, it's a big be. flash. The flash. It's perfect. Doma gets away with it. That's one for free, and no one's cleared him. They haven't crossed the sight line, so if someone's watching his left side push, he's going to get more. Moves oh. there as well. And this is a disaster. A 2v1, and Carcass has it all to do. Spike is within reach. It's not too far away, but he wants to fight first. If he could find that Killjoy, that'd be a dream come true. They don't know where Mystic is. He's still far away from the matter, but time's dwindling. Yeah. He doesn't have much to play with. Spike to be planted and is safe to a degree. Now, has to find a kill for free. Oh, the timing's good, but he's going to back away without being spotted here. Maybe a note as to where that came from on long, but look at the adjustment from the Omen Mystic. Good presence of mind, cautiously approaching. Maybe a bit kill. of bait on the other side. There it is. You can hear the shots coming through, trying to keep that attention turned. And there it is. He does get that kill. It's Fnatic continuing to pull this one back now. Should be looking at what Mo's going to do here, do here, unless that breach comes through the smoke. And it does. It's going to be Boaster. No Leon way. Forward to a zig. That is incredible work from Boaster and Mo in combination, but it's not over just yet. Mo needs to hold that cross. They've now won the fight out on long and surrounded. Nico has to step forward. Brave as he may be, look at this defensive side. Instantly fall back. Instantly make this incredibly difficult to find an isolated 1v1. No easy fight to be had here. Gives away the position once again. He can't not do it. It's all he can do. Trying his best to find ways around, but now work down. Killjoy on the other side. It's looking like OT looming. Nico gonna get one. Can't get the second Mo. Doubles up, doubles down. Carcass catching a headshot through the smoke there. An all out hit comes on to see here. Chak actually again. What? He finds the turret kill and the headshot. Mystic still backside as well. Jack's turret's just different. Nico's still alive though, and Nico did pretty well in that previous round, but Mystic's position, if they don't check on this meticulously, it's going to be a problem. He gets one, but through the smoke, Nico plays in. Flash towards the CT side, and now Spike's still to hand. Nico wants to look towards a plant if possible. You'd love to find one more pick, but I don't think we're going to get that given up. Nico there, going to at least get rid of the Aldrome, but Zick's looking this for aggression. an option. Yeah, and oh, that's no, not the... a bad idea. The timing's going to be so, so badly what? wrong, Zik. Oh my god, he turns it? He gets Mo, but do they know where that final player would be? That would have been Boaster towards Boaster. B. He hears all these steps. He will have the angle to catch the cross No first. way. So Boaster now, gun out, gets ready. Here we go, catches one, gets the tag, not the frag. And now they're split. He's going to isolate the first, gets Zik down, and now has to get the second. Nico's in trouble, just about gets away in front of that. But now Nico left in the 1v2, and there's no way you're getting past Domo while all that happened. Boaster was calling out the... Up to heaven. That's you holding the wrong angle here. If he gets a decent peek, they give it all away for Wave. Oh my god, look at the timing. He's going to find the first actually oh. traded out by Doma there. So, important kill. Muri does find Mystic, so that's the lurk down also. Hey, 3v2 now. Muri knows what's coming his way. Muri's going to... No oh, way! He's... 
Ooh, he's an absolute nutcase. Leaving it in the hands of Boaster now. Gonna have to deal with three players coming through. Boaster gonna get what? one. Gets a second. They swing out just with a bit of a mismatch of timing and allow it to come down like this. Turret now in. Boaster can't peek without spraying it down to give away the game. A little bit of a jump peek on the corner. Nose turrets there. But time. Oh, Seek's got him. I mean, what an absolute... Lunatic. <laughs> And he's got all this information now, which means that Wave can set up. They know that it's a flank. Mm -hmm. And that's the main thing. Information isn't just what you see. It's what you don't see as well. And Marie's cleared defense, oh, spawn, and everything else. Yeah, Both members spotted. Lovely work. That's why we like a Sky and post plants as well. This has been quite enjoyable. Nico now going to have to at least deal with Mo coming through his way. This could be going all the way here. Nice work from Nico. And it looks like we are seeing Fnatic being broken. Tribune on the other side, tucked into the corner with that frenzy. Doesn't get the first shot through well enough as Doma's going to be instantaneously on the case. Now smokes are up. The wall is built to build some safety to the site. Quick cross as well from the Rays to get the spike planted. And they want to play into this quickly. Wave on the, f on the fight. On the fourth front and Doma just kicks them back. Straight up Spartan kick to the chest. Fnatic holding this one for now. You can see Murray still clearing through as he goes. This angle could be a problem. And it is Mystic there to be the final line of defense. Rotation on the side of Wave. But I like this intention towards B. I think it's the good choice from Fnatic, considering they had Spectres bring it to a close quarters combat scenario. What the hell was that sentence? I've been watching too many Milsim videos, but his carcass from up above to find Chak. That's alleviated some of the pressure. Swing around, though, from Boaster. Once the trade gets it, but not too clean, but he'll take that for now. And now it is just Boaster left in the 1v2. Surrounded two angles. Not easy to find. We with. found He's it. been able to isolate Murray. And now the 1v1. Crossed on no the way. side. He knows where the plot is. Or does he? Is he going to stick this? Can we switch on to the Omen? It's not showing on the UI. No, okay. Tribune now. Playing with the time, but he's looking like he's making some mistakes and the tag comes in, but he's going to get it to at least halfway. Gets off it, wants to fight. He doesn't get a booster. Just big brain this fight with that Spectre to hand. Spams it out. You got to run, but there's nothing more to be done. Well played to booster there. In a 1v2. Straight, straight away. Angel carry, and then you're good to go. Now... Not the case. Tribune good for one, but a trade from Boaster. Good work. Boaster even doubling down, actually, to find Carcass. That's cracked open the site. There's no one else here to defend it. Maybe the Cypher could get to screen in time, spike. but it's Reyna in case. Yeah, it looks like the Omen's considering this, and it's not a bad idea, considering the full rotation has come in. They're none the wiser. Oh, that's a shocker coming in. Boaster can only do so much. So let's have eyes on that Omen. The last one alive now. Mystic. Going to give away the game, but... <laughs> Still has to work with this one. You can see the Breach just hovering around the top as well, kind of following in the footsteps, and timing is a factor now. Mystic, no chance on this. Surely let him get away with this one rather than gun out, trying to take a more complicated no fight, way. and it could have been an error. No. Oh, Nico, you are a lucky, lucky boy. What <laughs> angle? You can see the combination of utility coming into play now as well. They're just going to completely abscond from holding the site initially and just play full retake. I like that. Probably the best choice, I feel. And now... Plenty of utility yet left to play with, considering they hadn't really defaulted around or drawn much out. So this is going to be a pretty hard retake, I feel, for Fnatic to hold against, but they probably are in pretty good positions here. But here we go. Finally gets underway. Cox and Zik pick up almost instantaneously as they try to make their way towards heaven, but it's Doma waiting patiently down below. And now Doma can fall away. Does catch a flash, does get traded in on Tribunes there. Going to swing together, try and isolate that Reyna, but Reyna's going to just dip and dodge and do the work. Mystic. Joined by the Viper and Boaster. Yeah. No problem. <sighs> and, that, and that's the trade back of information is going to draw out the rotation. But actually, Mo finds the first. Murray good for the trade. That's actually Spike down. Spike now stuck in a bit of a precarious position. Murray, unfortunately, had his showstopper online. But look at this now. Bit of a push to come back and retrieve that Spike. Doma going to find two. This is a much better look this time around for Fnatic. Great recovery. Nico, the last man standing for Wave here. He's going to find Boaster sleeping up in heaven. Flash comes through. Again, though, the plant for heaven is going to make it uh. awkward. He drops down. Mystic ready and waiting. And actually, Fnatic... This Boaster is on the other side. Going to try and flash him for the jet. Jet goes through, body, body blocked by Boaster, but still loses life. And Jet's still alive and kicking. Maybe a little worse for wear, but doing work. And now there's danger of plenty. Murray's found Mo, and that was on the other side. That's where the spike is. Keep in mind, Omen's got the spike. And that was over towards B. 
Let's see. You can see Doma now on the minimap. Trying to get in back behind ropes. Arka's got to be careful here. I know. No. Oh, the timing's perfect for him. The trigger discipline. He finds the first, the second, though. Nico Etsy going to trade that one out. Oh, no. I love the decision making, unfortunately. It does get traded. And that will give Wave good entry here. The smoke's down, so they can plant this for heavens. So that makes it increasingly difficult for Fnatic here in the post plant. Jack's already noted. Kind of locked in. You can see Mystic trying to bail him out, see if he could spot anyone, but no one showing. Tribute might offer himself up as almost a, you know, bodyguard to this. None of those shot hit. I don't know how, but... It's got to be go to... Like ships in okay, the night. Okay. But okay. No worries. The Here's the big switch up. Go B instead. Okay. Carcass. I mean, this is Please worse. Check your corner. Check your corner. Check your corner. Oh God, Mo. Mo almost had some real, real danger. But Mystics want to find Carcass now. Muri's probably like, hold on. Let me just step back a bit. Those bunkies. What is that? What is that range? Excuse me, Riot. Please. What is that? Okay, so now let's look at towards the Cypher. Let's switch onto it. Perfect. Zik here is going to see enough and know that there's a quick rotation in play. Now, whether he knows who it is, beyond the point, but you're going to keep them at arm's length. I don't know, actually. At this point, Bucky seemed to be snipers. What do I know? But the cross should be coming in. And Zik can now get back towards just watching Heaven. And look how low some of these players are. Good isolation on towards Mystic. Raze is still far away, but does have the weapon upgrade. Boaster needs to be real lucky. What? Healthy look at Bucky. That owns another, but that one's way out of distance. Even I've got a Vandal, though. He upgraded. Exactly that. He did find it on the way through. So now he's looking a little bit more dangerous, a little bit more deadly. And maybe, just maybe, this works out. Nade goes in, clears the corner for free. Now starts working forward. This is a horrible position. Oh, he chipped the left. And Tribune just steps out. Jack's on the side like, uh, the round's just started. Do you mind not doing this? Doma's found Murray. That's good work from Doma. At least going to eliminate one of the danger men, but... No flank, nothing really to support this. It's going to be the plant and the post, really. 3v3 now. Let's look at what we've got here. Domer on 30 HP. Going to try and get in. Use that ultimate right. Tribune. Just swats him out of the air. Lear comes in now. None of that either. But Moe's going to land the shot at least. And now the 2v2. This is brutal from both sides. But Mo, that drop sound's going to give Zik at least a good idea where he was. Nico, the shoulder peak, spots him. Mystic now tries to isolate one to his right. Gets the free fight. But there's the trade out for Nico. This pace from Wave is wild. They look like they're just feeling themselves right now, which is really dangerous to play against. It's hard to predict and hard to quantify. And Carcass is going to be the first one forward. Bucky's are out. Bucky's are dead on the side. It doesn't matter. Carcass continuing forward. This should be a spike plant. They've secured sight now. Let's see if they can keep this composure now coming in towards the final throws to put them on towards 12. Zix found Mo, so there's no damage done yet towards Wave. This is a dream run from these boys. What a, wow. what a way to welcome into the big leagues. Murray makes light work a Mystic and Fnatic are down to the main man himself, Boaster. But a mile away from being able to change the way this round goes with just the Bucky to hand. Damage is great, sure. Maybe a bit of this, bit of that, but no matter where you cut it, it's 12 rounds on the board, and Zig's got it. Get, okay. get a camera on Carcass right now. Just mad aggression, <laughs> I guess. I want to see what he does with this. I mean, if you're going to go like that, they feel like they've isolated a problem towards B, so maybe they can keep exploiting this. It looks like Murray's going to lead the way, though. Be the entry fragger. Oh, it what? just... It just went past him, but Murray, regardless, switches up to that rifle, locked, loaded. Jack's gone. And now this is going to be a spike plant again. This should be another post-plant scenario. Look at Carcass around the back, switching up to the Vandal. He's going to swing on oh it. God, He's even runs. controlled Good. more territory. This is looking dangerous for Fnatic. So much utility thrown at them. They have no way out of this. Carcass found Boaster. Murray towards Doma. Fnatic just down towards Mo, oh, and he's dead. My Wave. God. Just